zucchinis, 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 zucchinis. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Got scared awake last night. Not quite sure what happened. I uh, didn't hear any zombies or gunshots before I went sleepy sleep, but um, something bad happened. My little guy was uh, a bit scared, huh? That's all right. Now we've got some fully grown zucchinis. They are all in bloom, so uh, I'm gonna start harvesting these. Why not? One o'clock in the morning? Sure, whatever. Oh, and can you get a little thing by mousing over them? Is that what I saw? I know I saw it. I'm not fucking crazy, okay? I mean, I am a little crazy, but not as crazy as, as to be imagining zucchinis, imaginary zucchinis. So we, we're getting a ton of zucchinis, uh, and they weigh a whole fucking lot. So I'm gonna need to find a place to put these. 0.3 pounds each, yep, it adds up quick. Adds up quite quickly, indeed. Well, I guess I can fit them in the, uh, the big bag here. Why not? And that should, uh, bring me down just a little bit. Yeah, look at that, my goodness. I think I need to get rid of some other stuff as well. Hmm. I might still be overweighted even with all the zucchinis. Nope, perfect amount of weight. But uh, I still need to get rid of some stuff. I do suppose. But what can I spare? What indeed? Ah, it's so hard to decide what to take, what to leave. All this stuff. Project Zomboid struggles, you know, bro? Do you know? You probably do, if you ever played Project Zomboid. Usually I uh, die a lot faster, but now I got all this farming stuff going. Zucchines and whatnot. And uh, once I die on this playthrough, I think I shall uh, rename the save and keep playing it uh, personally. <laughs> I probably won't continue the series just because um, it's supposed to be like permadeath. Solo permadeath. But... Um, yeah, I don't want to let all this go to waste. I put so many fucking hours into uh, all these bases and whatnot. And then I just come back and I kill zombie me and I take my stuff back. And that's going to work just wonderfully. So I'll probably need to dig all this stuff up with a trowel again. Hmm, am I... yeah. Heavy load. Can't take much more. You will. You're going to take it all. That's right. I wonder if it would be good if uh, I dried out some of these zucchinis. If you could dehydrate stuff, that would be like super helpful. 245. <laughs> what the fuck? I have all the zucchinis. Oh, did I fill the bag up already? My god. I shouldn't plant this many. I shouldn't plant this many. A bunch of them are going to go rotten. I'm going to end up with fucking 200 zucchinis sitting outside my... My little restaurant base. But at least I can eat all the zucchinis that I desire. I'm too full. Too full? Damn. Hmm, did I throw my trowel in? Yeah, I guess. I guess I got rid of my trowel. Alright. Then I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Movement compromised. Yep. I'm not gonna be going nowhere too fast this morning. I want to take it to the uh, the base over there and stick it all in the fridges. I don't even know if all of this shit is going to fit in the fridges, though. Hmm. I should probably get rid of some things. What's in my inventory that I can get rid of? I guess water bottles. Those are pretty heavy. Master farming. These bait fish. Yeah, snack a little more. <laughs> snack attack! Hell yeah! This is minus 5 hunger, zucchinis are minus 10, and they also take care of thirst, so yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of some water bottles. Let's try uh, walking a little faster, I suppose. <laughs> oh my god, this is not going to work. I should have just uh, dropped it in one of these houses. Am I going to remember that? Mm, probably not. I mean, I do frequent this house relatively uh, often. I was going to say frequent it relatively frequently, but that's a little redundant, isn't it? Quite. Alright. Are the... is the electricity still working? 
Yeah, it is. It is, which is uh, always shocking to me. I don't know when it's gonna go, finally. But not yet is the answer to that. Um, try and shove some of these zucchinis in here. Nope. Nope. Gotta empty out the fridges somehow. Good god. I've got fucking 80 pounds of zucchini on my back. <laughs> That's amazing! You're powerlifting zucchini, bro! You fucking like one of them power lifters. <laughs> yeah. That that's that's uh what you said in the first part of the statement. Let's see about here. Wherever I put it, I'm going to uh board that place up. Make sure there's no zombies hiding in here. Climb through. It seems to be relatively clear in here, but um Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't hear any banging around. That's the nice part. But I don't trust it. I don't like it. I don't trust it. I'm gonna fill up this fridge with some uh, zucchines. At least as much as I can fit in there. My god. I should only be planting like maybe uh, two of these a day and then you eat what you what grows first and then the next day you have like a little more to pick and eat. But picking fucking 200 zucchinis, uh, that's not a good idea. That is not a good idea. And once it stops being fresh, it's only gonna remove seven hunger and no thirst. Which I guess that's like the dehydrated version of the zucchini. But then it, like, rots too. It shouldn't rot. I don't understand. All these zucchini mechanics. <laughs> okay, so I emptied out that bag pretty well. Got the water bottles out of there. Definitely not going to be able to fit 236 of anything in this fucking fridge. Well, I'll try and remove some stuff. It's too bad I can't throw all this rotten stuff in a grave. Make a grave for food. A food grave! It's called a landfill. And it's getting a little cold. Am I wearing my sweater? The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. Wow. I'm surprised. It's making me cold. Making me cold just a little bit. Oh, fart. So how many zucchinis can I fit in there? Mmm. I can't math at the moment. I can't even math right now. I'm just gonna put a bunch on the floor. And then we'll start grabbing a few. There's <laughs> so many. Okay, I have 32. Is that gonna fit? It doesn't even fit. This this is a terrible idea. I'll put as many in my bag as I can, I guess. That'll do nicely. Thank you, phone. I got to turn my ringtone off before I start to record. Interruption. How rude. Hmm. I only fit 59 zucchinis because I took all of this rotten stuff out of the fridge to try and make room, and it didn't even work. Just pile it outside, whatever. Here you go, second trash pile. Wonderful. I'm just gonna have to stash these zucchinis, like, everywhere that I can. I guess. Ah, uh, I've created problems for myself. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. I guess that's, uh, that's part of learning, isn't it? It's part of growing and learning and becoming a better person at growing zucchinis. <laughs> you don't need to worry about being a good person in the, in the zombocalypse. You just gotta worry about A number one, kid. That's right. Alright, I'm just gonna grab all these. I'll find another house. I'll, f I'll fit them where I can. Give my 80 fucking pounds of zucchini. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I don't know why I made this choice. I thought it was a good idea. Did that at least get my farming up? Let's see. Yeah, it's creeping up there pretty good. thought I had a farming book too. But, uh, I took a little break. And you know what happens when I take a little break? Forget everything that happened previously. 
Previously on Project Zomboid, I don't know. <laughs> now on Project Zomboid, I, I still don't know. Sorry. Sorry. There's 42 zucchinis on the floor. I can't seem to pile any more in the fridge. What a bitch. Oh well. I'm not gonna remember these are here. Almost assuredly, most definitely not. This is complicated. This is quite complicated. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find somewhere else to stash these. These are gonna be my uh, zucchini storehouses all down this street. So I'm not gonna board up the house where I put the zucchini because I'm putting the zucchini in like fucking a bunch of different houses. Can I, can I peek in here? A little bit. Kinda. Let's get rid of this glass. Climb on through. Hey, everybody! I'm in here now! Alright. Got room for zucchinis in here? Awesome. Wonderful. Fantastic. And then once the power goes out, I'll be really, really screwed, but, um... Hopefully I can implement that farming method. I think I found that out the last time around when I was, uh... I think we did strawberries or something. And I ended up with way too many fucking strawberries. But strawberries are only, uh, point 0.1, and zucchinis are point 0.3, so... Three times the weight of them strawberries, and I definitely farmed a lot more than, uh, previously. So, live and learn, I do suppose. This thing happens. Ah, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be this way. I don't know how it ended up this way. I should be able to fit most of them in this fridge. And then we'll uh, continue on. Fill up another fridge. I'm not going to bother getting rid of the stuff that I have. Oh, I do want a little bit of a nap, though. I woke up super early. I'm going to end up getting drowsy. Drowsy. You got a, a bed or something? Ugh. There's a bed, but the window's broken. We got a, a chair that's... Somewhere accessible. No, all the windows in this house are broken. It ain't gonna work. Wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. Alright, so I'll put them in the bag only to take them out and put them in the fridge. Because why not? I'm not sure how to split stacks in Project Zomboid, if you even can. Is it, is it under here somewhere? You can pick individual zucchinis under this menu, but um, that's not gonna help me too much. Jesus Christ. Did you hear it? There's something a-lurking. Something's lurking in here. Alright. I'm gonna throw a bunch of rotten stuff on the floor. Cause whatever. This ain't my house. <laughs> um... A little bit more. I need room. I need room, can't you see? Watermelon, that's probably taking up a lot of space. Alrighty. Everything goes on floor. Stick the zucchinis in there. <clears throat> 66 zucchinis in each house. Why 66? I don't know. Because it's a route. A route that goes through uh, the United States. So it helps me remember how I can get to the other states. That'd be really cool if they made like the whole United States in Project Zomboid, but... Even just uh, a couple towns in Kentucky seem to be quite a project. I don't think the world really needs to be endless anyways. If you're playing like a giant multiplayer game, then maybe so, because then people have enough stuff to scavenge. But uh, at the moment, mm, doesn't make too much of a difference. There's nobody here with me to compete against. It's just me and the zombies. I guess I'm competing against the zombies. That's fine. That's fine, I can handle them. Um, I also want to have a little lie down. If that would be possible. I woke up at 1 in the morning, it is now 7 in the morning. So, uh, we're about due, ain't we? Ain't we about due for a little lie down, huh? Hmm. Still got more zucchinis to put away in that house over there. 
in yonder house, but I've also got uh, 59 on me still. So we'll we'll figure it out. Did I fill this house up already? No, there's two houses over here. Kind of just the ones that are super close. We'll get it going. We'll get it going real good. And it seems that this house is uh, it's kind of secure enough. So maybe we could have a little rest. That'll be nice. Or sleep, even. Sleep would be better than rest, because then you, like, you know, rest your brain. Most of the time when I'm resting, I'll fall asleep anyways. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna, just gonna rest my eyes for a little bit. And then, uh, five minutes later, I'm, I'm unconscious. Hmm, seems they only got, like, a little mini fridge here. It's only gonna hold half of what the big ones do. And I've got fucking crappy fish in here. So I'm not going to be able to fit much, unfortunately. Oh, poop. Oh, damn. <clears throat> One thing that I read uh, on the wiki, wiki that I found pretty interesting was uh, running while you're overweighted will increase your strength. And I presume increasing your strength will uh, allow you to carry more stuff. But I, I don't really know. I don't really know. I just know if I was a, a fireman or something like that, you have the initial strength boost. I wish I was a fireman instead of just a crappy electrician. I ain't even good at my job. I just like, you know, crawl on the ceiling, play with people's wires or whatever. I didn't even enjoy it. And it's completely pointless. I could read one book. It doesn't even take any time to read the book. You just, you just have to find it. Oh, it was a, a quick decision that I jumped to. And I will be the first to admit that it probably was not the right one. Hey, asshole. Hey, get away from that. That ain't your house. It ain't my house either, but I'm putting stuff in there. Very busy, can't you see? Did we go in here? I think so. Yep, there's a bunch of crap on the floor. That's alright. I'm gonna hit the, the next house on this street. Hopefully I'll be able to run again at some point. One step at a time. This has just been a day of zucchinis. That's fucking ridiculous. Gotta have zucchinis. Gotta have beef. Gotta have spice. Where's that, uh, Spiffos? If I get the fast food joint, I could fill it up with zucchinis and fight America's obesity e epidemic. Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> I would be the hero. They would all say, Dayton, you're the hero. And I'd say, I know. That, that's what I said. I just said that right now. There's a laundromat. I could also just, uh, throw the stuff in the trash can over here. That might be nice. My wife is playing with dog in, in background. <laughs> Maybe you hear that. She's she's biting. She's a puppy, you know? She likes to, to bite. Oh, here's some stuff. I could stash zucchinis in here for shirzies. There we go. Put zucchinis in the pharmacy. This'll heal what ails ya. Have some of my zucchini tincture. Put that on your wound. Or whatever you have. What have you. You'll be good to go. You'll be good to go, bro. The freezer's completely empty. Oh, yeah. I'll fill it up. I'll fill it all up with zucchinis. I don't understand why you really need a fridge in a pharmacy. I guess maybe they sell some stuff in here. Oh, it's all gonna fit. Look at that. Okay. So now I, uh, should be relatively under... underweighted. This might be good. Hmm... I still seem to have a lot of extra crap on me, though. Like, I could probably get rid of the, uh, the gun and whatnot. But I don't really want to get rid of my gun until I use all the, the rest of these here bullets. So let's do that. Let's do that first. A little bit more shooty practice today. I don't know where I want to do it, though. And I'm relatively winded as well. It probably doesn't help you with the aiming, you know? You're breathing hard, hands may be a little shaky, something like that. And then you're just trying to trying to shoot a gun. 
Ain't gonna work. Not the way you thought. There's plenty of dead dead bodies up this way. Let's go to uh, the slaughtering grounds that we visited before. Hmm, where was that? Oh, there's the house I was gonna burn down, but I think I put my Molotovs away. Well, fart. That could have been uh, an easy solution. Oh well. Keep it moving. Keep it going. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for all this. No, sir. And then uh, I might ask myself, where are you going, Dayton? What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, look, that TV's off. It's on that uh, emergency broadcast Technicolor testing thing. You know that thing that they do? And it's like, do. And I really am going to uh, turn my phone off now. Just have infinite distractions. Fart. Don't let me be bit. Please and please. Please and thank you. Okay. We're good to go. We're good to go, damn it. Kinda. Maybe. Ish. Whatever. Gotta get it recorded. That's just how it go. <laughs> Life is rough sometimes. What do you want? Hmm. Rotten bananas. That banana ain't even rotten. It's still got some yellow on there. I'll tell you a secret. If you got some rotten bananas, you can make some kick-ass banana bread. Hmm. You don't want to use fresh bananas in there. The rotten ones will give it uh, more flavors and whatnot. You're welcome. Go ahead and make some of that banana bread. Let me know how it go. You're welcome in advance. There's some twine. That's relatively rare stuff. I need it to make the uh, fishing traps and whatnot. Hmm. I guess it was all stuff that I wasn't really looking for earlier. Oh, oh, look at this dude. Just fucking climbing in a house. Alright. Yeah, come out. Come out here. So I... Boom! And then I... Pow! Yeah. Anybody else want some of this shit? Huh? They're coming. I'm out here, everybody. There's a lot of them in that house. Holy shit. Maybe I should have uh, rethought this a little bit. Nah, we're good. We're good. I've got balls of steel. Oh my god. Please no. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> like I said, balls of steel. Look at them all. Hey, you guys. Having a good time? Me too. Bam. Come on, I just want to get like three in a row, something like that. That's so wrong. Click. I knew it. How many rounds we got left? That's the nice thing about reloading um, one round at a time. Is you can kind of get a count. You can also get a count if you just go in your inventory and mouse over the shit. Hmm. I think this is my, uh, my last little set here. That's kind of sad. I'll have to resort to the baseball bat pretty shortly. There's three in a row. Fuck yeah! Five. I got one more. Missed. Just throw the gun at her. Throw the gun at her! Alright. You've been quite good to me, little revolver. But it's time for us to part ways now. I probably uh, have one of those somewhere. Police ha get revolvers, don't they? That's like standard issue, something like that. I don't know. i never been a police. Beat them all to death. There you go. Alright. Now keep your head on a swivel. Don't let them sneak up on you none. Hmm. Not much on them. There is a machete. But I uh, specialize in blunt weapons. Fuck a sharp weapon, son! It's harder to maintain if you're like chopping through zombies' bones and all this shit. What's that creepy sound? It sounds like bees. Oh, it's flies. And this bitch, hiding under the bench, trying to get a free snack or something. No, oh, that ain't gonna happen. Lay down. Oh wait, you're laying down already. Well, stop moving. Oh, this was like an infested house. 
Infested house. Which means I don't think uh, we've explored it. Hmm. It could be an adventure. A more exciting adventure than a bunch of fucking... Oh, God, Jesus! These crawlers. I'll tell you what. Assholes. Think you're allowed to do that? Think you're allowed to just sneak up on me like that? Ain't gonna happen, bro. I'll tell you that right now. There's one over there. Pickled radishes. A little bit of soda. Ice cream sandwich. Aw, oh, buddy. Aw, oh, buddy. My buddy. My buddy. There you go. And another key. Thank you so much. I've got quite a couple of collections going on here. Whoa. Was this a, a safe house? They've got sheets on all the windows. I gotta assume somebody lived here. Oh, And there's a pacifier. There might be a baby zombie crawling around, huh? Don't worry. They can't really bite you. If they're zombified but their teeth didn't grow in, then uh, don't really worry. There's a bunch of canned stuff. I always like some canned stuff. Mmm. I don't know if I'm gonna need that dog food, but... I'll take it, you know? What if I find a dog? Dogs are helpful to have in the zombie apocalypse. One, they can carry shit for you. Two, they can sacrifice themselves for you. <laughs> I mean, that's probably not ideal, you know? You don't want to sacrifice your pack mule. I mean, pet. <laughs> but you gotta think of it, you know, as if it is a survival situation. Who are you gonna let die first, the dog or you? If you say the dog, then you're dumb. I mean, that might sound heartless, but it's not. <laughs> it's the wise thing to do. Trust me on this. Unless you really don't like uh, living in the zombie apocalypse, in which case, yeah, just, just blow your head off. Don't bother getting the dog. Because that dog is going to come to depend on you, and once you're dead, that dog's basically dead. That's right. It's going to get eaten by wolves. Wolves are tough as shit. Well, I think uh, that was all that there was to find in here. Hmm. Maybe something in the cabinet. Floss. Toilet paper. I don't need any of these things. Not anymore. Life is different now. I wipe my butt with leaves. Oh, wow. Here's another big uh, loot stash. Jeez. Canned everything over here. That's really nice. Well, that's what happens with these uh, survivor safe houses. The game's kind of been updated somewhat, so uh, you can just find houses that are full of shit like that. And like I said, I got enough canned goods. I don't necessarily need need to stock up or anything like that. Oh, I forgot to get a drink. But it couldn't hurt. I definitely don't know how long uh, this is going to last. But the more canned food I got, the longer I can make it last. I'll probably end up just dying having an adventure somewhere. Go to the mall, end up dead. And then I'll have like a whole... A whole stash of loot sitting around for just anybody to come and find. Yeah, sure, help yourself. What the fuck ever. But that's a, a big reason that I will probably keep playing this file on my personal time. But who knows? I could uh, be tired of Project Zomboid by the time all this shit ends. Wow, there's a lot of zombies out here. This is uh, kind of near my house. Not really near, but near enough for me to be a little nervous. A little nervous purvis about it. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't trust it. We'll have to go clear that out. I think that will be prudent. I think that will be wise. I've got so much zucchini stashed around that I'm, I'm not in a farming mood. What a harvest we had, I tell you. My goodness! Most masterful! Alright, so uh, a little bit of mac and cheese. 
I'll put my screwdriver and my saw. I don't, I don't think I'm going to need it. Actually, I'll put it on the outside shelf where I put uh, things that I tend to use kind of often. There's a big bunch of chips, canned soup, canned tomato, but not canned tomato soup, which makes me sad, you know. You could get like a little uh, mac and cheese going. Oh, that's just so delicious. And the rain's coming. Why does the rain always come? Why you rain on my parade? Oh, I can't fit all of this in this shelf. But I'll do my best. These canned corn beefs? That's pretty big. Gotta have beef! Gotta have spice! Snap it to a Slim Jim! Not a sponsor. But hey, Slim Jim, if you want to, you know, talk to me, something like that. I'd be open to a conversation about a sponsorship. You send me a big box of Slim Jims or some shit every week. <laughs> every week. I want one every week. Or else, or else the deal's off. Hmm. This shelf is looking really, really full, so I'm gonna move to the other one. Go ahead and stack more shit. Stack it up. Stack it all. Stack it all up. Hmm. That little bait fish. I guess I could eat those. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I could also exchange them to try and catch some larger fish. But, uh, hmm. I've got so much stuff laying around. It's too bad there's not another person with me that needs to eat. Because it would be easy as shit to feed them. Maybe I could find a dog, something like that. Maybe I could raise up some rabbits or rats or chickens or something that we could eat. I know you're probably surprised that rats are on that list, but rats are really awesome for eating. If you can get over the fact that it's a rat. If you just fed it on corn, then it's a clean rat, you know? You don't want a rat from the street, a sewer rat. Like Aladdin or something. <laughs> Street rat. I don't buy that. Mm. Is my Molotov here? Yeah, I'll put the lighter there as well. Saw, screwdriver. Don't need this at the moment. Kitchen knife. Mm. It might be useful, but I haven't been using it so much. So that's fine. Painkillers. Hmm. It's just never enough room. Never enough room for all the stuff. There we go. At least a little bit dry. But it's raining pretty heavy out there, boy, let me tell you. Well, I think we're uh, just about done here anyways. Just sort my inventory a little bit. There we go. Now, are my fish in there too? Yeah, I got fishes in there. Have some company! should probably find some new clothes as well. I found out that uh, some clothes are more resistant to uh, bites and the like. So that might be a good idea. God damn it. I don't think this rain is ever going to stop. It's here to stay. Dun, 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 ow. It's here to stay. It's a corn reference. Anybody remember corn? Just me? I'm not talking about a vegetable. Anyways. <laughs> I'll end the episode here, friends. Try and get a little bit of sleep. Probably wake up too early tomorrow and have a midday nap again. But uh, that's how I do in real life, too. So, <laughs> wow. What a storm it is. I hope it doesn't wake me up in the middle of the night. I need my beauty sleep, don't you see? So I can keep my beard lush and healthy so it doesn't fall off again like it has uh, in the past, past two or three episodes. Yeah, it kind of just comes and goes when it pleases, which is really weird to me. Anyways, I hope you like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That's always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there. We are now over 1,000 subs. What, what? Four digits. Doing it big. And uh, I want to go even further than that. So if you could help me out with that, much, much, muchly appreciated. This has been Project Zomboid Friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I will see you in the next one. And until then, bye bye One. Two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.